All right, everybody, welcome to the video today. We're going to be going in Tennessee Titans franchise. We got a few things today. Miami Dolphins, who are the opposite record of us. They have two losses and five wins. Instead, we have two wins and five losses. So we'll have a tough match ahead of, or touch, a tough matchup ahead of us. Plus, it's the trade deadline. We have a few offers as long as we also, you know, have some other things to go over, like the scouting national focus and players that are ready to negotiate their new contracts and extensions and whatnot. Let's start off with something that has been been highly talked about in these last few episodes ever since i put deandre hopkins on the trade block we've gotten trade offers for him one of them tank dell byron murphy too that i was considering at this point but then you work your way over to here jonathan allen i think it's a third year this year a fourth year next year along with a seventh next year and jonathan allen all right that's jonathan allen who is actually three years younger than deandre hopkins a 93 overall with five overalls higher and getting paid probably a little bit more obviously you know it's just it is what it is but we're taking this trade Right. All right, let, let's send it to the league office. Let's get that deal done. Jonathan Allen is a Tennessee Titan. So now we have Jonathan Allen and then TR Tart's back from injury as well. But we have jo <laughs> Jeffrey Simmons and Jonathan Allen on the interior with uh, Harold Landry, Rashawn Montag here. But uh, yeah, TR Tart, I don't know what we'll do with him. Obviously, we have a few offers on him as well. Those are the other trade offers that we received. We can bring in John Mechie, Devon Diablo, Devontae Parker, Mike Hughes, which is the only one I'd consider, but I still don't think I would do that deal caleb farley we don't want back zach Pickett. like it's just not fair we have tr tart and just the trade finder and press get, get offers i'm sure we won't get anything interesting in return anyways so nothing i can really find for tr tart i don't i don't know how many years he has left on his contract he has two so this is next year with his contract which is annoying because i don't want to keep him around for a whole two years so maybe we'll look to move him uh but for now we'll just go look at scouting national focus and check out what our best options are so actually probably about now it's wide receiver but our current position is safety and that's nowhere to be found so we'll just do wide receiver I'm a little tired if you guys couldn't tell but i'm gonna go through i'm gonna look for players that are um you know maybe up for trades yeah i don't know we'll, we'll see oh you gotta be kidding me reggie givens the guy that i was like oh well we don't really care about reggie givens yeah that was during the draft process yeah he's yeah uh that hurts a lot we could just go get jalen petrie right now he's like playing strong safety in real or free safety in real life and he's doing really well go get him he'd be our long-term kevin byard replacement i just don't feel like giving up a third <laughs> and like getting a fifth in two years we'll see what we can uh what we can do here with jalen petrie because i want J okay well tiara tar across for jalen jalen Petrie. welcome welcome to the team um okay all right. All right. Well, obviously, I didn't really expect that one to go through right away, but we have Jalen Petrie now, who I don't know. We'll have to let him play somewhere, obviously. Uh, that's that's really that's bizarre. Well, anyways, uh, I think that'll pretty much do it for the trading portion of this. So I'm gonna have to go through. I'm gonna have to redo the whole depth chart and formation subs. We'll see you guys back when I'm done with that. Okay. You know what? I'll worry about formation subs after this week because like this week's kind of not a scrap week, but it's like brand new to us what we've got now. So this will be the team. I've got the depth chart set pretty well and how I like it. And I actually would like to have Kyle Phillips playing above Clyde Claxton here because I think I will have Clyde Claxton playing in the slot with KJ Hamler behind him. And third down backs, Reynolds, uh, Petrie will be a slot corner as long as a sub linebacker with joseph klein right behind him so it'll be weird to see which one of these two takes priority but i don't know we'll, we'll have to see uh montag harold landry both still rushing the quarterback off the edges with a allen and simmons up the middle now got a lot different and um we'll make to we'll make this team work basically willie gay is going to be out an additional three weeks because uh his foot fracture i believe so we'll just get ready head into weekly strategy do some drills and uh get into the game barely squeak out a goal here for jalen reynolds in rush attack goal for rashawn montag and trench battle upgrade players we've got jalen reynolds and rashawn montag in here along with tajay spears and daniel brunskill so we'll start at the top with jalen reynolds catching's good i like what i see from him but i mean i already know how good he is as, as an elusive back so i'd like to give him some uh heavier traits you know power back we need him to do a little bit more when it comes to like just not going down on the first sign of uh, contact tajay spears i think he'll just be one thing for us and one thing only and that is just kind of like a backup listen i was looking at him last year like a starting running back he got his he's got that role so early he had about three games in it and he was not good at all didn't show any signs still hasn't shown any signs and then when it comes to rashawn montag we'll have his block shedding at 79 and then his power moves we'll just keep working as uh, as a pass rusher for him he's going to be pretty good 
plus one power move so is that plus one speed as well so very good here Rashawn Montag has developed already pretty much a lot I think he might even lead the team in sacks but he's done a lot in a short amount of time here as his time as a titan we drafted him at like a 71 or two overall and then he's up to a 75 already this guy right here Brunskill who cares right and it's gonna <laughs> this guy so this is an interesting thing we got going here because obviously we don't have tier tart on the team anymore but the game thinks we have him on the team so what if we went to do this done deal did we really just get mike hughes and will we still have jalen petrie i don't think so but if we did i definitely shouldn't have done it let's go to the defensive side of the ball here i'm not gonna just okay it doesn't look like it but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that what i mean to say is i'm not gonna reset the uh the depth chart because then it would mess up all the things i was doing or what i did cornerback we can look down the board here and no there is no Mike Hughes. Okay. Last week, Mal Malik Willis might have come out a little bit. <laughs> I don't know why. I just switched that voice. Came out and broke out a little bit. Did a good job. Uh, put up solid yardage. To a stats on the season, 128 out of 197. Almost 1,500 yards, 11 touchdowns, and an interception. He's doing really good. Now we'll have both Josh Allen, Jeffrey Simmons on the line, along with uh, Jalen Petrie making a impact somewhere. And already... Jonathan Zalen's first play as a Titan. It's a TFL. Great sign. Great sign early for sure. I'm going to try to... There's Jalen Petrie coming in as a sub linebacker now. Going to look to run it to him again. Get uh, strong safety on him. And then Rashawn Montag there. Devon A. Chain. He's been so good in real life. But not really working out here in his first two carries in the virtual video game. So we'll see Noah Igbenogany is forced to play now in the middle of the field, which is a little rough, but we'll have to get out to the uh, to the open spot. And it's going to be Jeffrey Simmons making two attack of Iola. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a defensive drive to start us off. And that was not my best Michael Jackson as we'll work left here or right here. But manual judge, my brain's all scrambled. I'm all sorts of tired. I'm, I'm out of it today. I'm not going to lie. We'll snap this one and go off a little bit and work with. That one was supposed to go for KJ Hamm. Hamler. Couldn't get it into his hands. Inaccurate throw. Just throwing seven yards out in front of him. And we'll see the uh, inactives today. Willie Gay off of uh, off a, fra a foot fracture, I believe, two games ago now. And we'll look to see how involved he can get as soon as possible. And R1 was not an option to throw at the point of uh, when I was trying to throw. So we get sacked. R1 showed up as an option just to uh, go away. Can we get it? With pressure in Malik Willis' face, we had KJ Hamler. Cam Wilkins causing problems for us early. This one will be like a jet sweep, maybe. Nope. Jonathan Allen, TFL number two. Oh my god. See, now this is where Jalen Petrie, we love him. He is man covering a tight end that just got the target. I thought he'd be a lot better in coverage than that. Probably would have been realistic to shut uh, Jalen Petrie down tonight for sure. And we came up and over pursued, and they just have. What? Uh, what? Touchdown, Jaden Waddle. Uh, Jalen Waddle, right? Not Jaden. I've been saying Jaden Reynolds too much. Oh, that's killer. They just have some fast ass receivers, and I can't really get to him with my safety there, I guess. I don't know how that all worked, but is what it is. Antonio Gibson's in early in this one, and he'll have his first carry for seven yards on the ground today. Antonio Gibson again up the middle and trying to sift his way through the blocks after being blown up a little early. And we'll have rookie running back into the backfield who will get the play action this time around. Didn't mean to throw it there, not gonna lie. Um, pressed RT and circle at the same time. Like I said, I'm out of it today. And it looks like there's some man coverage. Can we get the coverage beater? How does, what? That was easily man coverage and then Xavier Howard breaks off of it to get to the, what would be an open man. Like what in the world is going on here? Madden world is fantastic. We're gonna go a little play action, try to find someone open somewhere and thought we did, but nope. Somehow Brandon Jones plays that near perfectly. They have Tyreek Hill as a returner. Like that, that's, that's brain dead. Because uh, one, we'll try to injure him. Two, we'll try to injure him. Joseph Klein coming in trying to make an impact. But no, it'll be the best defensive interior in the league. Jeffrey Simmons and Jonathan Allen. They've picked us apart today in the uh, the passing game here. We'll try to step down and make a play on Tyreek. Man, these guys are fast. This might be a little dumb by me here to just leave like some of these guys on the left open. And I'll have man coverage on Tyreek. You gotta be crapping me. They had a wide open touchdown, and there's Moster and his speed showing off. They had a wide open touchdown. You don't have Levante David on Tyreek Hill up the seam, and don't throw it to him. That's 
That's got to be a fumble and a half there from the Dolphins. Just a breakdown. We'll try to get back there. David, bring him down. Has help by Rashawn Montag. And it'll be a run again. Levante David and Aziz Al Shire combined on that one. Linebacker Blitz here. We'll have Joseph Klein who's coming in hot right away. We'll force, force a fourth and seven. Uh, very good. It looks like Tua doesn't really do the best with pressure on him. So we'll force a punt. Haven't seen too much of this guy. Jalen Reynolds. We'll get the carry on this one and get a few yards. Nothing insane. We're trying to reinvent ourselves here. And we'll start with uh, a couple of some pass plays. Get Traylon Burks in space. It's always scary throwing like right at a defender. But uh, we'll try. Okay, can I get into the audible, please? So they're going to actually like leave square wide open. It's not going to matter. We'll just go Traylon Burks and get up after the play. Antonio Gibson pivoting left, going up the field, gets a few yards. He's been good tonight. And rush and no yards because we suck. Our offensive line, absolutely. Um, that was that was tragic. That was actually tragic. Third and 11. I do see KJ Hamler. If we can get him quick, which we do, we can maybe burn. No, he's going to break a tackle instead of burn. And so we got some big playability. KJ Hamler touchdown. And we better hope this isn't some sort of outside run because we'd be outmatched as they try to get to the outside. A-Chain doesn't really do a great job. Joseph Klein meets him where he stands. Jalen Petrie seeing that middle linebacker spot again. It's a drop from number 11. That is... Wilson Cedric Wilson no blitz coming in here but we've got a wide angle there from our rushers and we'll try to stick with the rest of them and we had defensive pressure from both Montag and someone up the inside I'd have to assume it was Jeffrey Simmons I thought I saw some sort of uh some red arm sleeve KJ Hamler has five targets already one reception 48 yards and a touchdown we're trying to get it to our speedster, man. He's a playmaker. We got to get him involved for sure. But it's uh, how well can we get him involved and how well can we get Jalen Reynolds up the field? Not well at all. Offensive line has looked really bad today. And we'll have three out of the backfield. That's Jalen Reynolds. Just get upfield as quick as you can. We'll go back into hurry up. We'll flip the play, call curls dig, and then I'll switch it to what we already had. It was an RPO. And uh, maybe get Hamler out there if they lay off enough i'm curious to see it doesn't look like it so we'll just go reynolds up the inside is the right idea right call we get uh, a lot of yards on that one malik willis rolling out no real great option and yet we still get it to kj hamler up the field i didn't i didn't have any potential like thought that that was going to be completed maybe intercepted maybe to someone else but i thought he was going to stand still on the sideline i was going to throw it to him and he was going to maybe have a chance at it Maybe get thrown out of bounds, whatever. But no, that one actually came in complete. Let's go Carlos Diaz underneath. He's been so good. And Clyde Claxton would have been my go-to. We're just have to throw this one away. Uh, no options. That looked uh, real appealing, to say the least. Probably shouldn't be running the ball on this stack of a front, but we're going to try anyways. Reynolds bounces off one. Couldn't do much after that. Try to clear out over top with uh, Diaz and maybe go with the running back underneath. Instead, we will target Diaz, making a great catch in traffic in the end zone. Carlos Diaz breaking out in front of our eyes. He's been, um, I, I'll say this. He's been better than Chica Conquo, which is absolutely ridiculous. But Carlos Diaz, man. Look at him go, positioning himself better to catch that one in the end zone. Xavier Howard's just a mismatch. He's not big enough and with an inside shade. Might as well call it a touchdown early. He's looked so good in his time while well, uh, Chica Conquo has been uh, missed in some aspects. Diaz kind of plays that more typical tight end spot, and he's been uh, proven to have some receiving ability too. We'll bring a little bit of a blitz here. I'll go to the outside to, to make sure we've got this one contained. Doesn't matter. Number 31, Kevin Byard. Make sure it's covered anyways. Uh, Devon A. Chain is averaging almost negative one yards per carry. So we've done our job today so far covering the ground, but we can't really give up too much here as Tua is going to get rolling to the outside. Christian Fulton stands in his way. He'll slide. And Tua up the middle again. Uh, he'll juke, and that'll actually take him away from that first down. It'll be fourth and one. Uh, I'm not going to call a timeout or anything. Not really time to, but they're going to punt again. I see no perfect time or no other perfect time here than play action. Get those linebackers to bite. Go up high. No one's rolling our way. We'll have to throw this one away. Waste of a play. And Tajay will get his run at it. And Tajay Spears does a good job getting up the field. And we'll hope Skaronski can get off his. And he does. And it's Tajay who's been uh, so far the best today. He looks like the best version of himself early in this contest. We'll uh, look to find some open form of someone, but instead, 
Uh, Brandon Jones does a great job taking two receivers out of one play. That's so annoying. Try to have a powerful run with Gibson. He doesn't really get too much there. Unfortunate as we are starting to pick up some sort of momentum. Just couldn't really follow through with that drive or this drive so far. It's been kind of lackluster. So I don't really know. I'm going to put uh, Phillips on a, on a little slant here instead and hopefully find him. We do, but can we get it to him? No, ball's out of area. Man, if we had a good quarterback right now, a little bit of a blitz here. Uh, they've just struggled under pressure, so we're going to look to bring pressure. This one outside, we got to wrap up. We do. Number 81. Who is that? R rushing? Oh, Rob Rushing, the guy we wanted. To, uh, we wanted to pick him so bad. I did at least, and uh, missed him, but... He's been uh, good today, to say the least. And this one, over... Uh, I tried to press circle. I didn't. I don't even think it switched me anywhere near the vicinity as I was expecting to be on Fulton there. Just couldn't get there. So we'll bring in the Blitz. We'll press up our uh, DBs a little bit and just hope to uh, to stop this this Dolphins team where they stand. Couldn't quite get there. And Devon A-Chain, in fact, gets up the field and no one's catching this track star. Yeah. Um, talk about big playability, but uh, why? How is that? How is that? How is that a play? How, how does that not get stopped? And we'll be off here. Oh my! They have a free rusher off the left end. That looks to be okay. Why do we get put in that stupid Andre Dillard? You're such a oh, you're so annoying. And why do we get put in this? What is this exactly? Okay, I've clicked Ty J. Spe what is what is going on? Can we not? We can't even hot route out of this. We'll call the play because uh, it needs to be called and well it's actually successful we get kj hamler there is a flag though roughing the passer on bradley chubb i'll happily take that yes sir and um two minute warning hits we were in a perfect play for that defense we'll run with malik willis it wasn't even like a design quarterback run it, it just it just got a 17 yards though so i'll be i'm uh, more than happy with that but it was kind of like this play right here where i didn't i didn't understand it but okay i guess uh That'll be that, right? Beggars can't be choosers. We get to try to get that one to Traylon Burks. And this is a confusing play. We'll see how it works out in the grand scheme of things. We'll have a wide open. Whoa! Oh, you better not be scared of footballs now, son, because you won't be playing football tomorrow. You got to be joking me, Jalen Reynolds. What are you doing? You do this, you get benched again, I promise. This is why we kept upgrading his third or receiving back ability. He swatted the ball. That is absolute baloney, but we'll go to one of our favorite uh, plays this year. It's been the running back screen, and we'll have Fields on a pretty big play there. Concept, quick pass. You know we are not, we are not not running this right here. We are going to get this fourth down. Fourth and inches. Jalen Reynolds gets the ball snapped to him. And, of course, won't get it. You want to know freaking why? Madden makes it so you can't ever convert on fourth down easily. You can play the best offensive uh, play for whatever defense they're in. It can look as good as you want it to on paper. You can have as many guys stacked up as you want against one guy. That one guy will still make a play. This game is utter bull crap, and everyone knows it. And it still can't be fixed and won't be fixed because Madden is a piss poor franchise that milks people for money, and they don't even give a shnite. And how is this open? Uh, wh what are we doing? But people like me will continue to buy this game because it's the closest thing we have to an NFL simulator, you know? So we'll have to take it. Jalen Reynolds, or Jalen, Jaden, Jaden Waddle, down and about. Jalen, Jalen Waddle? I don't remember anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm brain dead, clueless, done today, tired enough. Just uh, play a little middle zone, go underneath. That's Rob rushing on another reception there. They're just burning through their timeouts. Play a little bit deeper, play over top, kind of just let them have the the underneath and we'll come up and try to make some sort of play can't there'll be six seconds left in the second quarter aka the first half so i've actually cheated the um the the hail mary play watch this we'll leave the running back as open as we want him to we'll roll out and then look we can get pressure every time do that every time and you'll get it done against even the best difficulty in ai halftime report we're going to look at games around the league starting with jacksonville minnesota Hot versus cold here. Trevor Lawrence, 12 of 15, 103 over there. Kirk Cousins doing good, throwing his two touchdowns. A.J. Dillon running the ball well for the Vikings. That's pretty insane, if you had to ask me. In Chicago, an NFC North uh, matchup here. Defense, or Detroit and the Bears that are both good defensively. But 21 to 7 
Uh, Lions leading that one. Jared Goff, 5 of 6, 127 and a touchdown. Amari Cooper seems to be the star of that one. And in Cleveland, we have an AFC North Division uh, matchup here. Watson and Pickett both don't look great. It's a low-scoring affair. 10 seconds left in the first half. Seti Tillman with a reception for 12 yards. Good to see. A pretty even affair in this one ourselves. 14 to 14. Uh, we haven't struggled whatsoever today. Uh, we've uh, actually done better than... I've expected to really haven't turned the ball over other than if you want to count fourth down turnover on downs, right? But other than that, I feel like we've been very good and uh, we've done a great job here today. Uh, just isolating whatever it is that we have left. I love how Antonio Gibson runs the other way and towards the offensive and defensive line when I'm out struggling for my damn life with Malik Willis because I know we're not going to have a freaking pocket in a couple of seconds. So we'll just salvage whatever we have if uh, we can get a good run here. Nope, instead there's a free rusher. Peter Skronsky, get off your block and work up to the second level, you nonce. What, what are you doing? And Jonathan Allen fighting H-Han down. Oh, how are they so far up on the line already? Listen, people make mistakes. I might have made one with the punt, all right? Brain fart of the century. I'm not even going to tell you guys a story. And they'll have a wide open Tyree kill on Levante David. Why do they get that matchup? I, I, oh, I'm going to absolutely throw something soon. And we will run the ball here. It'll be Jalen Reynolds up for a good like nine or so yards. Second and inches. This is where we want to take our shot right here. So we'll just call a play and then nope. There is no such thing as play action so i guess we'll just be stuck with whatever this is go to Traylon burks who's getting his opportunity today too many freaking rpos man i hate it when they delay watch this we're gonna delay it and they're gonna have someone in the backfield never mind it's gonna be the run again to malik willis what is happening an rpo is a run pass option not a run quarterback run pass option Oh, oh mm. I don't even think there's words out there for how I'm feeling right now. I know there's not. Let's go Malik Willis. Nope. I forgot. Goodson, Mr. Jerry Goodson, the skinniest defensive tackle I've ever seen, has eyes on the side back and not the middle of his head and just goes and just decides to, to just read minds. I forgot. He's a telepathic genius. You got to be joking me right now with this stupid game that we play. Cornerback matchups by speed. Thank you. Maybe we'll have, like, actually a chance now to keep up with our uh, our players or their players with our players, you know? Like, it's actually ridiculous. This is what we're going to try to do. Get to A-Chan, who's still... Oh, I forgot. He had that huge, massive, dangly run. run. He was going to average... That's right. He was going to go into the half or whatever, averaging a certain amount, and Madden just realized that that, that just couldn't happen. So what are we going to do? Instead, we are going to just put up... a. Uh, uh, amazing touchdown for Devon H. And uh, I don't even know what I'm rambling off about. And Levante David in the backfield. We had people. We definitely had them. We had them in the backfield. But nope. I forgot. I forgot. We can't touch the. I can't. I, I forgot. I forgot the rule. We can't make good plays. That's that's my bad for sure. I forgot that one. As Rashawn Montag makes a great play in the backfield, making up for it. He's a rule to fire. He's a rebel. It's his second TFL, I think. Third and 10 now. We just can't look to give something up here. Never mind. We still will. Never mind. Amani Hooker catches up somehow to Jalen Waddle, and we'll have the fourth and 10. And Malik Willis, who has come down today, or came out today and showed us a new version of football, has just done a great job today. We'll try to get it to Carlos Diaz can't. If this is your first game that you're watching of mine. Then you should now know that, or you should know that the second halves are normally brutal. But so far, this one off to an evenly balanced start. But normally they are brutal against us. Normally this is where we seem, uh, see teams pull like 50, make the most outrageous interceptions. Ty J Spears up the field doing a good job. Uh, as I was saying, second halves are normally so far outweighed. Um, you know, us versus them. They normally have every single advantage you could think of. Done a good job today in, um, you know, whatever this is. What is this called again? Oh, I see. Who is that? Is that? Okay, that's Jerome Baker on Carlos, I was going to say. Let's go, let's go, Carlos. Never mind. What? Where? Why? How is that throw even like that? So I think we'll have Reynolds, like, open space over here to the right side. We do. We're going to look for him to make a play. Forgot. He's not allowed to. He can't make plays. Huge trust in our pass offense here. We're going to actually go play action underneath. Look for Carlos they know it's a pass they're gonna cover pass because it's a pass it's ridiculous am i gonna shoot a field goal here 52 i don't trust my kicker from 52 fourth down we've seen this ugliness before but we have numbers on the offensive line we're gonna trust it anyways we get it yep no they don't call it. you 
Jalen Reynolds, uh, uh, Madden can't F you harder. You know how? You want to know how? Look at this. Jalen Reynolds literally ducks the football off of the line. You've got to be joking me. Oh my god. I might have to challenge the, the spot here if I could ever get down to their level. I mean, it's unclarified, but oh my. That looks like it could be past. No, it's pretty far behind. Uh, what the f second and nine now is we'll look for someone to not do that to us as Bob rushing on his second catch. And this is the perfect blitz situation right here. We're going to put a, a gap here in the, the the team and look at buyer doing a great job picking him up and uh shoving him down before that first down markers reached jalen reynolds now or Jaden, what is his name i feel it's jalen right Jaden. why can't i ever get this right we'll look for someone to make something happen immediately we can't so we'll instead we're gonna throw it to our face mask of our running back to make sure that it works third and six now we will run the football and they'll know it i mean they had a corner coming in immediately the slot corner was blitzing but not going into the backfield. He was going to come over and take the running back. Like, he was playing man on the running back. I don't... Like, what in the world? Cater Kohu is Batman. Another good time to blitz would probably be, like, right now. Except for the fact that it isn't. And we're going to try to get Joseph Klein. Yeah, this is this is how you know the game's baloney. I am at a loss for words at what is happening. I switch on to a defender and they just turn stupid. I swear. What is happening? Anyways, Joseph Klein was easily going to make that play there until it's like, <laughs> no. Wide open now. We are playing man coverage. Literally can't be unaccounted for. I think that's Elijah Higgins. Literally can't be unaccounted for. Yet, he is unaccounted for. We'll be bringing pressure in now. Free rusher, that would be Joseph Klein. Pressure looks like it got on Cedric Wilson. Definitely didn't to Tua. And we'll use your Levante David here who will, yep, just make the perfect play. Uh, what the f I I'm so over it. I think I'm just gonna bring blitzes on every single play uh, It just doesn't make sense not to can we get him playing up close? Thanks. Can we get Joseph Klein to the backfield? We did a good job getting there and we stop Raheem Mostert Mike Dana there Byard's there McCreary's there everyone's supposed to be there No one can actually get there and this is when it gets scary is when they have wide open. Yeah, you're just never going to stop a team when they do that. It's just going to happen 10 times out of 10. It's going to keep happening until it doesn't. And that's never going to happen. So we have an infinite loop of what would be touchdowns when uh, they pass the football within 10 yards of the end zone on slant plays because the CPU is fucking broken. I see KJ Hamler here. I'm going to hit him. Uh, even if someone drops back into coverage to stop me, they are. And KJ Hamler... We talk about big playability, and someone who has it is definitely KJ Hamler. Highest speed on the whole entire team, maybe other than Jalen Reynolds, but I think it's 94 speed, 96 excel. Don't do this selly, bro. You're playing a manly sport where you literally hit dudes for a living. Don't act like you get hit dudes off the field, too. Jalen Waddle today, three receptions, 109 and a touchdown. Good for him. You want me to sing his praises? I won't. Just screw off. Why show me that? It puts me in a bad mood. We're going to use our Levante David here and try to shoot a gap because this is most likely going to be a run play. But of course, it goes to the um, Jalen Waddle, the Jalen Waddle. Tua on just um, 18 completions has over thir 13 or 300 yards today. We're going to use our Shaq Griffin, try to get up, and no, of course. The big corner can't make the small little man look stupid. How, how bad would that be, Madden? Okay, I, this play just went through. I know you guys didn't see it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys know what just happened here. Let's just go check it out here. Yep, instant replay. So, this right here, right? I shot the gap with uh, Aziz Al Shire. I think they, these guys are buddies or something. I think. Because they just gave, yeah, shoulder bump. Go on. You know, you, you've had your fun today. Well, just, just move along. I'm not even surprised by it at this point. I'm just going to be, my emotions are totally going to be good now. All right, we're done. Acting all pissed off and stuff. And Kevin Byard gets pancaked the side that A-Chan goes off to. A-Chan, my bad. And this one underthrown for Raheem Mostert. To attack a viola had a clear run lane to the, the touchdown or the end zone there. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to get some pressure on him so he doesn't feel so uh, so good, if you will. So we're going to just get after uh, after him here. What is Roger McCreary doing? He's playing. He's literally playing like this. He's like, hey, can you? Dude, hey, hey, look. I can, I can do it. That man McCreary tried to play with his back towards his freaking competition what are we doing today kj hamler five receptions 171 yards and two touchdowns hamler has been quite good with his first week without um a deandre hopkins i think he's been playing in that slot role too which is pretty cool but we're going to be trying to go to our next best receiver Traylon burks who actually had xavian howard beat but our quarterback 
can't throw a football. Yes, a quarterback where his job is to throw a football can't throw a football. And we'll see what we can do here. Um, Clyde Claxton, make a play, buddy. Nope, third and four. We're going to be on fourth and four. We have to go for this one here. Something that's worked here before is putting KJ Hamler on a go. That's not going to work. Didn't expect it to. Can we get R1 to roll with us? And we do. Not in position to make a play. And if my game could stop stuttering, that'd be great. And one-on-one -on -one with Raheem Mostert outside. Well, oh, that's Chansey? Who the hell is Chansey? And it'll be Channy again. It's Channy, not Chansey. And, yep. He's prime Marshawn Lynch. I can't even touch him. My guy literally just swerves around him, man. Shaq, Channy, Chaney. What a freaking puss, dude. And our best player today, with, uh, without a doubt, has been KJ Hamler. But we, when we can't get him involved, like, we can't really do much anyway. So, yeah, get me, get that, that graphic off my screen. I'm just trying to have a freaking game here. All right, don't show me all these bull crap things about someone that screwed someone. Let me... No way. Is that... Okay, that's Jalen Phillips. I thought that was Zach Sealer for a second. I was like, if Zach Sealer is going to keep up with Malik Willis, just shoot me on the spot because that's not happening. And we'll have Hamler on a little slant here. Couldn't really do much there. Try to put it up for him. And this one almost intercepted. Cater Kohu, they have like Spider-Man. Spider-Man is the CPU, I should say. They don't have Spider-Man. Like Spider-Man is just their CPU. Or the a a AI, if you want to say. Like, if there was a word for it, can we get this one out here? We do. Get up field. Jalen Reynolds gets the first down. Hey, first down's first down. Malik Willis has somehow gone flawless today. As far as flawless goes for a guy like uh like Malik Willis, he just hasn't thrown an interception today. So that is just flawless for, you know, anything that I could uh, remember or account for as we're going to roll out with him. They've got lockdown coverage everywhere. Carlos Diaz now who's going to be open, throw him the ball, does a good job, let him get up the field, two-minute warning, and, I mean, honestly, I thought that we might be able to get um, someone named KJ Handler down the field, just wasn't going to throw an interception here. So now, if I put Clyde Claxton on a go, I'm curious what happens, where that safety would uh, then shade to. This one's not intercepted, luckily. And here we go, we got KJ Handler open up the slot again. Go to him early, we've done this, we've seen it before. Oh, wow. Okay. This time he gets put on his butt, maybe humbled a tad bit. And then we're, they're going to fix their, their formation, obviously. And that's going to lead us to run the football. Then that'll probably lead to a timeout. Jalen Reynolds gets off a block, goes up the field. He's playing like he wants to win. KJ Hamler with an outside shade. And if that linebacker stays low, he did, but didn't do it for long enough. K or Kyle Phillips up the field. Touchdown. Kater Kohu, suck my little. I should just say suck on that. I, I really probably shouldn't say that, especially with that little in there. Probably just doesn't give myself a good self image of myself here. But um, how many times can I say myself in just a few seconds? We're going to punt this one. I don't care if it wants me to onside. Like, we're just not winning this game. We're down 42 to 28. These ones most likely runs here, but we got to account for just about everything. And um, there's a fumble. There's a fumble. Can we pick up a fumble? Our team is nowhere near as coordinated enough as you need to be to then make a, a, a validated effort to then reach down and grab that football. And that's the game. We'll go ahead and check out some player stats here, though. We'll look at uh, Dolphin. No, we'll look at Titans. Malik Willis, 100 plus QB rating for the first time ever in a series. I think a quarterback has stayed above that 100 QB rating mark. 20 uh, after starting a whole game, of course. 20 completions, 44 attempts, 324 yards, four touchdowns. This is a breakout game for Malik. Still can't throw the football for crap. We just hit hit our guys and let them run after the catch Reynolds was bad today for the first time I think we, we've said this he's been bad he was bad today uh Antonio Gibson four for 23 Tajay Spears was really good and Malik Willis when he ran the ball I guess was fine receiving Hamler was absolutely electric and this is why I wanted someone of his caliber like his speed and stuff and his yards after the catch is good but even just down the field he got open so six catches 194 two touchdowns works out Reynolds was our next best guy and then Burks got open a few times today Carlos Diaz has been uh good uh really good Kyle Phillips also had a touchdown today so four touchdowns through our receivers which is really good defensively Kevin Byard Levante David up there or like uh whatever that guy's name is Jonathan Allen two TFLs ties for the 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 team lead with um Simmons and Montag with both uh, two TFLs there and one for Bayard, one for Al Shire, and one for Levante David. A sack for David and Simmons. Yeah, uh, good good game. Another loss where we let the other team put up big points and where we didn't even play too bad offensively. 
all things uh, you know considered we just need to get better and that is just like the main scheme of things here during a franchise series getting better we have a tandem breakout on offense our quarterback can go up a dev tray if uh, malik willis goes up to normal i don't think a whole lot changes <laughs> i think we'll still be shopping for a quarterback for sure i'd like to keep it a real life quarterback like i don't want to draft um i don't want to draft one i want to keep it like either in free agency go get like you know trey lance even like that'd be kind of fun it's just that sort of thing like we can never mind i was gonna say we can go to trade block and look for some but there's some out there that definitely seen obtainable so i don't know we'll, we'll see where this uh this season leads us but malik willis hasn't even been playing bad as of late and nothing to say that he isn't the guy and how he can't develop when he has 90 plus speed like it doesn't get much better than that he's been really good but i don't know i mean malik willis who's put up good passing numbers his last two games especially uh final finally kind of patching up his interception to touchdown numbers um just just has been better in my opinion than malik will or will levis will levis will Le yeah will levis Jiminy chrysler and uh jalen reynolds this year kind of getting humbled as of late he was a top i think he was second in the league in rushing yards and now is sitting in let's see if he's even top three he is still second with 749 so i don't know he's um been a little lackluster these last couple of games he has a chance to become the league leader in rushing in just his rookie year probably on pace for a rookie of the year sort of thing so that'll be all for me thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed of course go down leave a like go down subscribe go watch any of the past videos i guarantee you will enjoy them and that'll be all for me thank you guys for watching deuces